Hello everybody, welcome back to Godzilla Mode and today I have another great video for you guys, alright? Now before we get into it, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and comment down below if this defense works for you guys, alright? Now I will be showing you guys how to properly full court press in 2K22, alright? Now look, what first thing that you guys want to do is analyze what team you're playing against, right? So I got the Bucks, right? The Bucks. Probably the best defensive team in the league, hands down. All right, Giannis, Drew Holiday, Middleton, Ibaka, Brook Lopez. All right, and I playing against the Celtics. All right, so when you playing against the Celtics, right, or you playing against you know whatever team you playing against Sixers, don't really matter. You want to go and see who you playing against. So your defensive sense, if I'm playing against the Celtics, I know I'm gonna play against basically two major scores, which is Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, right? And the rest of the guys, you just use them as maybe slashers. He go rebounder. The rest of the guys, maybe you just shoot threes with them. All right, another two crazy. So what you want to do is this is what my defensive settings would be if I want to full court, full court press anybody. All right, this is what I would do. I would usually just put, do tight and off ball pressure. Do not put tight because 2K still haven't fixed the glitch where um, they're, they're corner dropping, they're dropping off for of players. Do not run tight. Run the nine ball. The nine ball is where it's at, man. It's just that's it's only only thing I can tell you guys right now because tight is not working. Two K haven't fixed it. Um, hopefully next year, two K twenty three, they they fix it or I don't know when they are. But like I said, tight and the nine ball, especially if you got a good defensive team like the Bucks, you're going to run around tight. Um, for on ball screen, I would if I'm playing play now, is go under. Like that's no question, just go under. But if I'm playing against somebody like my team, just go over. But my settings for play now is go under. All right. Uh, for the hedge, if I'm um, for hedge, if I'm playing against somebody like Robert Williams and he can't shoot, all right, I'm doing no hedge. It's there's no doubt, no questions asked. There's no hedge. He can't even. He got like 33 ball, which uh, all right. Don't, don't even worry about that. Uh, for the screen, I always do stay attached. All right. Now you can end game adjustment if you see that's not working. You can run automatic or no, but I will leave it on stay attached. For the post, three fourth bottom, three fourth bottom. It helps you get all the steals. All right, it's just, it's just that's all you need to know about it. It helps you get all steals, and that's that's all you need to say. Three fourth top is, is all right. You know what I'm saying it's, it's okay, but uh, I recommend you not really running it. Run three fourth, um, run the three fourth top, and you should be good. I mean three fourth bottom, and you should be good. For for off ball screen, what I usually do for off ball screens, um, I will usually do go over like this and then for the next one i don't really touch don't touch double team perimeter or don't run i mean don't touch double team posts do not do that all right don't don't just leave it on manual all right don't run don't really touch that um for screen help rules you want to run um no help no help do not run something like um help and no rotation because it just that just doesn't work all right, because they're just gonna they're gonna help from the um, corner, and all they're gonna do is kick out, and it's an open three pointer almost every time. All right. Um, and then next thing that you guys want to do is, it's, like I said, you're playing against somebody with um, either like if you say you pick against a six and they got one major ball hand, which is James Harden, you want to go to that player. All right. So since I'm gonna have my matchup, I'm gonna put my best perimeter defender, which is um, Drew Holiday on Jalen Brown because he has better uh, ball handle than an uh, easier jump shot in play now. I will run something like this, and then I will put, um, since Holiday is a great defender, he got gold clamps, I will put on bar pressure either tight or moderate. Now, if I see my guy that I'm playing against, and he's not really shooting no threes, he's just looking to, um, he's just looking to, um, just to, to basically rim run all game, I will run something like tight, and then I will go, go over, go over. The reason I'm saying go over is because Jalen Brown can shoot the ball re real good, all right? And then, um... Uh, yeah, leave everything like this. It's supposed to be 3 4 bottom. Maybe I got it wrong over here. Hold on. Let me go right here. It's not supposed to be 3 4 top. Always make sure 3 4 bottom and you should be good. And then the guy right here, right? Robert Williams. He can't shoot, man. He, he just can't. So you ain't got to worry about that. What you want to do is off bar pressure gap, but leave it on tight. All right? You don't want to run it on gap because if a guy can't shoot right in his own gap, what they're going to usually do is if you got run a double gap, he's going to throw the ball out to that guy and he's just going to stand 
like f three feet away from them. So it's easier for them to drive. So say if you're playing somebody like with a, with a Giannis and you're running gaps, and all because he can't shoot, he can always dribble drive and get a foul, run, run, whatever he want to do, right? So don't do that. So just leave it on tight, but run gap, right? Now, the next thing that you guys want to do, right? Um, like I said, you're running against somebody with Jason Tatum. You want to do some. Uh, now, Tatum is different because he has better badges and everything than well, what's his name? Than uh, Jalen Brown got. So what you want to do is um, leave it put. Uh, yeah, leave it on deny ball, and you want to have his stuff on moderate. Now the reason why I say uh, no, not moderate. If you're if you're running somebody uh, the team that the Bucks, you can be put it on smothered. But if you're running somebody like the Hornets and you playing against Jason Tatum, and they don't have, they don't really have no good perimeter defender that much. Leave it on tight or put it on moderate. All right, but I'm going to put it on some other just for simple fact that I have the bucks. All right, so I'm running. Leave everything like this. Uh, go over because he can shoot. And then the, 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 this is how my um my matches would usually be. I will usually put my best defender, my best perimeter defender on their best ball handler, which the best ball handler obviously is Jalen Brown. The best player, best scorer is Jason Tatum. So I will put Giannis on him. And then, like, uh, everybody else, you can just leave basically how it is. And then, this is how it will look if you're running um, um, four core press. But the next thing that you guys want to do before you go into the four core press is make sure you have your coaching uh, adaptive coaching engine on off. Not defense only, offense only, offense and defense. Make sure it's off. And then, this right here. Uh, oh, it's not right here, but it's usually a thing down there, but it's not right there. So don't worry about that. Just make sure this is off, all right? And your coaching slider settings, it should say coach sliders, they turn that all the way down to help defense turn all the way down, all right? Now, look, this is how it will look. I'm going to just go here. Let's press four core press, right? Now, I'm, I'm checking wins. Like I said, he can't shoot, right? So you ain't got to worry about that. Now, here we go. I'm giving it to my point guard. I'm just going to shoot them. I'm just going to shoot it so they can get the ball back. And then at the every shot, this is very important. Press full court press. All right. So everybody go back to their assignment and everything should be good. Uh, it's on Hall of Fame, so they're gonna hit that shot. Uh maybe I should score so they can so I can uh, set everything back up. Let me just go ahead and go up here. You can't really guard Giannis. So look, this is how it will look, right? So we're gonna have Middleton checking Horford, and this is how it will look, right? Now you see the defense, right? You can either do like that or you can just bring this guy back up here. Watch that. He can't shoot, right? And this is why I said. You don't have to worry about that. And let's kick off. Look at this perfect defense. They're playing perfect defense. Holiday. Look at that. I told you. So if you run three, fourth bottom and you're running um great perimeter defenders, you don't have to have great perimeter defense. You can have an uh, average. Three fourth bottom is gonna get you still. So I told I told you guys that, all right. Uh Jalen Brown, like I said, your best perimeter defense on their best ball handler. Marcus Smart, not really a ball handler. He just got an easy jump shot. Marcus Win I mean Robert Williams, he can't shoot, so you ain't got to worry about that. Uh, Tatum, that was my fault. I clicked on it. I moved him out the way. But, like I said, it is not going to be open, all right? Uh, let's uh, go ahead and shoot. Let me get the ball back. Full court press after every play. Every play, full court press. Click it, all right? Now, here we go. We got Holiday, and that's they're going to grin it. That's because they're going to grin it because on Hall of Fame. Like I said, you guys seen it. I'm going about to go to instant replay. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Let's see it. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go ahead and now, like I said, full court press it, and you should be good. Let's go ahead and give him the ball, right? Here we go. Here we go. Jalen Brown, full court press. Holiday. Well, after you press the full court press, is he's going to go right back to him, right? And look at the defense, right? He has gold clamps and runs it smothered. Now, usually in game, since this is the computer, they're going to do that. But in game, that's not going to happen. And then this guy's smart. They, they grant the shot, so he's going to go in. But like I said, now look at everybody else, right? You run a deny ball, he's not open. You're running, um, I was using him, but he's not really no big of a shooter. Like I said, always analyze the team that you're playing against. If you're playing against somebody like this, Horford not really a big shooter, and his jump shot is not good. Uh, this guy, he can't shoot, and he just got lucky and got in the pain, and they green the shot. Like I said, now this is the setting that you guys want to run and everything. Um, now, the setting for my team is pretty simple. If you want a full court press, it's easy. It's easy. Smother, um, tight. Go over. Go over. Uh, no hedge. No hedge. Stay attached. Uh, automatic or yes. It depends on how you want to do it and how your team is built. But I'm going to press automatic. Uh, three, four, bottom. Go over. No help. No help. Now this is just a sentence for uh, if you're playing my team. If you're playing my team, it's smother tight. Um, no, no question about it. Um, now I will say tight. 
if the uh, the corner drops wasn't in the game, but since they're still in the game, you want to run either moderate or deny ball. No, there's no if, no no um no uh, the other set. Do not run gap because everybody can shoot in my team now. So you want to have moderate or deny ball, and that's the sentence you guys uh, can run in 2K22 for play now in my team. Uh, yeah, and comment down below if this defense works for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.